guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Crown Euro Cars in St. Pete, Florida, because guess what? I have that ultimate luxury sedan that many of you have been waiting for. This is it. This is the totally redesigned top to bottom 2021 Mercedes Benz. This particular one is an S580. But before we get into this new S class from this premium German Euro brand, let's talk about what's going on here. Mercedes-Benz. They have been doing the business for decades when it comes to that ultimate German styling and of course that level of luxury and we can't forget that on throttle performance. Now new for 2021 they've taken their full size and when I say full size we're talking about maximum full size sedan that premium level S class and they've gone through the outside they've gone through the under the hood area and wait until we get to the technology side of things. Now, being their flagship model, they really wanna bring the utmost all the time, especially when comparing it to those other German Euro brands. But what I wanna do with this review, since this is our very first 2021 S580 review, I wanna find out, have they done enough for the money at the end of the day? And is this S580, as a helicopter flies over to film Rady's Rise in action here at Crown Eurocars, is it worth the price? So let's go ahead, let's dive into this totally redesigned S580 and find out. Right off the bat, it just has a presence to it. There's a presence that the S-Class brings and definitely this particular one has it tenfold. Now, when we start at the front of the business, we do have a totally redesigned headlight housing. You're gonna get that triple LED headlight set up in there with your LED daytime running lamps and turn singles. I like the way they blacked out the whole interior, except just a little bit of splattering of some shiny bright chrome finish in there. Now, as we work our way down, you have these two horizontal chrome strips that matches nicely with what's going on in the headlight housing. We have a little bit of gloss black, but the great news is we have a functional side air curtain and then you'll notice how they take the trim and just bring it around to the bottom lip area of the front fascia. Now, as we come across that unique grill that is so specific to the S-Class and Mercedes-Benz, you'll see more chrome finish, the horizontal bar set up. Of course, you're gonna get a forward-facing camera, a little bit of gloss black, nothing too crazy. Let me know what you think about the plastic panels here on how they place that in the center of the grill. I'm going to have to zonk it. It's a little too large for my tasting. I wish they would have tried to take in the technology and brought it down lower. But you do have more of the gloss black, fully functional. And I've always liked how Mercedes-Benz does this separate level of styling from the middle to the lower portion. And then, of course, that low spoiler lip splitter extension with the chrome. Now, when we get up onto the hood, S-Class is always going to have that traditional hood ornament still on the vehicle that iconic badging the mercedes-benz logo and you have a separate one on the top portion of the grill body lines are so clean german euro styling you're just going to have each side go right towards the a pillar and this color that onyx black really fits it to a t and i really think that there's three top colors for any mercedes-benz black white and silver and I think we would agree that it gives it that limo chauffeur kind of feel to it in this black finish. Now, as we come around the bend, do we have new wheels? Yes, we definitely have new wheels and I'm loving the style. This multi-spoke aluminum wheel, I love the way that it's got the machine finish, that metallic silver, massive six piston calipers with the Mercedes-Benz logo on it. And this is not an AMG produced vehicle, but you're gonna get maximum braking. The size of those rotors are bigger than the pizzas that you ate. Cross-drilled, fully ventilated. It does have the M AMG branding on the wheel, which is a very nice touch. And if you're wondering, Joe, what's the size of this wheel? 21 inch wheel. It really reminds me of one of my favorite race cars of all time, the 1998 CLK GTR. Google that, use the interwebs to see what that race car looks like. Very, very similar wheel design, 21 inch wheel, 255 on the width, 
35 series sidewall up front. And of course, this is 4Matic. What does that mean? We have all wheel drive getting the power to the ground in this super sedan. Coming down the side, love the way it's just clean styling. You're gonna have that side sill extension and look at the way they flare out the bright, shiny chrome finish. Gives it that level of luxury, gives it that element of style and detail. We're gonna have 360 degree cameras. You got your LED turn singles built in, slim and trim into the mirrors. And then of course we have bright, shiny metalwork, top and bottom around the window treatment, flush on the door handles. Check that out. The first time on an S-Class where we have the flush door handles. Do you wanna see what it looks like when you go to open up the door? Let's see if we can find out here. I just locked it. Now I'm gonna unlock it. I'm actually gonna get the key fob out and I'm gonna pop this open. Look at that, boom. It says Mercedes-Benz with the chrome trim and then when you lock it up, Boom, super slim, goodbye door handles, and then it comes back right again for whenever you're near it. But you're gonna have that massive panoramic sunroof. Love the way it's all blacked out, of course, on our Onyx Black Edition. We work our way towards the rear. Let's focus on the rear wheels and tires. So obviously you're gonna have another 21 inch wheel, but now we're looking at 285 on the width. So you actually have more rubber to meet the road at the back of the S580. And that's because even though this is all wheel drive, it is rear wheel drive bias. So that means more power can be sent to the rear wheels to really give you that awesome handling and performance that you come to expect. The amount of metal flake in this paint job is like a bass fishing boat or your favorite bowling ball. That's how much metal flake is in the paint. Now coming around to the rear, I like the way it's just nice and clean off the rear glass onto the trunk lid. You do have your formatic badge, some chrome trim, updated taillights, of course, full LED, that iconic Mercedes ba ba badging in the center, the S580 badging, and then as we drop it all the way down, you have a nice simulated rear diffuser. Let's do the test. Functional exhaust on both sides, because guess what? We got some V8 power. Speaking of the power, let's pop the hood of this new S580. All right guys, we got the hood pop. Before we look underneath the hood, I wanted to show you some illumination with those headlights up front, those LED turn singles flashing, obviously with the hazards on. Really nice work that they do with the lighting. And then underneath the hood, I know a lot of people were wondering what is gonna be the power choice. Now there is a massive plastic cover, but the great news is it's a good looking cover. I like the way it's got this vent design up top and of course the Mercedes badge with the twin functional air inlets. But what are we looking at? We are looking at underneath that plastic cover, a four liter twin turbo V8, 496 horsepower, 516 pound feet of torque. It's made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 in this FS580 is around 3.9 seconds quarter mile is going to blaze by at 12 and a half seconds top speed around 130 miles per hour the vehicle weighs around 4900 pounds mpg 17 in the city 25 on the highway but you know what it's not just about the talking about the engine let's fire it up and hear the growl of this four liter twin turbo v8 Right, guys we're inside this 2021 mercedes benz s580 i know you're saying to yourself well joe i am blown away by this new s class uh, a full-size luxury sedan like this is really premium how much is it so the way that this one is optioned you're looking at an msrp right around 121,500. dollars let's see what you get for the money to the door panels exquisite attention to detail soft touch with the stitch work up top and dark i don't know if you could notice that purple ambient lighting you could change it 20 different colors 42 different shades it's got three memory seat settings heated seats and ventilated seats i like the silver touches 
What I am gonna zonk is the amount of gloss black. A lot of gloss black heaviness, which is gonna show those fingerprints, but the armrest with the stitching in the center, that crisscross pattern, and the premium sound system. Look at that speaker grill cover there. It looks like something that was made by Tiffany's, and you got a great size door pocket down there. Easily get a couple scones, maybe a nice uh, Bavarian cream bonnet or something like that or a bagel will go nicely in that door pocket. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you're gonna see the new work that they've done at Mercedes with the AC vents. Very, very classic, almost like an Art Deco style. It does have a wood finish with a heavy, heavy veneer on it. And I don't know how that's really gonna behave when the sun is fully out. I wish they would have just went with a flat wood, but what you'll notice is you're gonna get that center speaker and they actually integrated even more AC vents, four AC vents in the center there, easy to get to and to adjust, and then working your way down, this is something all new for 2021. This is a 12.8 inch OLED infotainment systems uh, setup. Obviously navigation, it actually has a Mercedes-Benz S-Class as the icon, it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, very clear on the graphics. You have your AC controls built in as well. Is it a touchscreen? Of course it's a touchscreen. Very, very intuitive. Once you figure it out, it's actually very intuitive and you can bring up all your different car features, go to engine settings. It's got the gauges for your uh, passengers to look at, boost gauge and everything else. And then when you throw it into reverse, backup camera quality that is second to none. You got your trajectory, your 360 degree cam. You could adjust all of the camera angles. Look at this technology. This is gonna make sure that you're gonna stay safe every time you go to park somewhere, no matter where you're at. And then it just brings you right back to home, which is wonderful. You got your start stop button, shut off that pesky auto start stop feature very easily. There's even a little cubby here. There's a cubby for some 100 gram bars because obviously this costs over 100 grand. You could put those 100 grand bars back there. We have our new sexy key fob from Mercedes-Benz. Love the style of it. Really, really great with the badging. More of that gloss black. This I'm gonna have to zonk. It's a little gloss black heavy. We open up the door though. What do we got? Wireless charging. You got your cup holders, two USB-Cs. I like the way it closes, boom. And then bombs away enough space in here to put your favorite Mercedes-Benz model in here. Maybe you got an old 65 Gullwing, 118th scale will fit in there, two USB-Cs, and we have, this is actually a Mercedes-Benz Pez dispenser. So if you thought Pez dispensers weren't cool anymore, this is actually the optional Mercedes-Benz Pez dispenser. Close it up, seats. Talk about luxury, talk about leather, the perforated center, wonderful bolstering, the piping, full electric assist with massage, of course, ventilated and heated. And you're gonna have that panoramic sunroof set up. Very, very easy, one touch, look at that, boom. Close it back up, stop it. You could do whatever you want, but why don't you come over here? This is what I want you to do. Come over here to the business end. I got a whole new steering wheel in this S580 I wanna introduce you to. All right, guys, here we are, business time behind the wheel where you wanna be sitting Three memory seat settings. Love the way they got the Mercedes-Benz logo that lights up LED with the silver aluminum trim, both on the exterior and on this interior piece. And we have the aluminum pedals, brake pedal and throttle. I wish they would have done an aluminum deb pedal, but seats are comfortable. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom, even with the sunroof set up. And then the steering wheel, very exquisite. You're gonna have that wood trim all the way around, some gloss black, very nice taste on the horn button, very tasteful with the stitch work, that iconic badging. You do have paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that nine speed automatic. Of course, it's tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and you have that column shift to shift it into the different gears. And then on top of that, that 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, very clear on the graphics, tons of readouts, everything you need, and you know what? There's no glare that comes in, which is really wonderful. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into that back seat and see if this S580 really fits the bill for a full-size luxury sedan. Pardon me, do you have any gray Poupon? 
Come on in because I'm telling you, lifestyles of the rich and famous in this back seat area. Tons of space, enough for a king and a queen, and you're gonna get AC. AC vents tastefully built right into the frame rail right there with the silver trim, and then backs of the seats, you're gonna have a nice large pocket. Obviously, you could put the family jewels or even an abacus back here. Let's say you have an abacus from the Macedonians. Keep that back here. We got two AC vents in the center, a little cubby for some Lindahl chocolates, and then you open this up. What do we got? USB-Cs, that home power source, flip it back up. I got my own pocket over here so I can put my family jewels there. And then I got tons of space. I mean, this is just ridiculous how much room there is. Nice little area to put your phone. You got your iPhone 47. It's got the grip so it won't slip all over the place. Soft leather, open that up. You can put your Skittles. And there's two USB-Cs. Close it up, what do we got? There's that rear passage to get into the trunk. Say you have your butler back there, he could hand you a nice uh, you know, root beer or a Surge, maybe a Jolt Cola. And then the seats, the styling is just ridiculous. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into that trunk and see how much room your butler has as you're driving on the road in the S580. All right guys, time to get into the trunk of the S580. You're just gonna push, nice electric assist, comes up really clean. And this goes to show that you still can have your full size sedan and have plenty of space as well to do what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But what are we looking at? You're looking at about roughly 13 cubic feet of space. You have that rear seat pass through, which is always a nice touch. They have a cargo net area, so you could get those luxurious boxes of Twinkies for the long family road trips or maybe a business trip. But you know what? I'm ready to go on a trip. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this S580 on throttle. Right, guys, we left Crown Euro Cars. We're in this 2021 Mercedes-Benz S580. Right away, you really feel like you're driving something very, very special. So smooth, so quiet, so much history with the brand and the S-Class. You could see the readouts on that OLED setup. Wait until I go on throttle. It's really gonna be able to showcase the numbers and the technology, the digital gauge cluster. Everywhere you touch, the finishes are just ridiculous. The ambient lighting, it's so very smooth and just a serene driving experience. Now visibility out the side, great. Back glass, awesome. And your rear passengers are gonna feel amazing in the back seat with all the room that they have. Also, a very, very cool experience to have a hood ornament. Not many vehicles. Once upon a time, I remember when I was a kid, so many brands, Oldsmobile, Buick, Cadillac, had hood ornaments. We're down to just a few, and that TriStar is probably one of the most iconic out of all of them. So very cool to still see that piece of heritage on the front end of this 5 S580. Uh, you can remember get this with a straight six turbocharged engine. Plus there'll be other options available with even more performance than what this one has. But I can't wait to go on throttle with almost 500 horsepower. All right guys, you ready? I'm ready. Let's make sure we have it in we want it in Sport Plus mode. Look at how easy it is to get that up on the screen. On throttle, here we go. Whoa, whoa. That nine speed drops down and it's nothing but the business coming from that twin turbo V8. So smooth, it lets in just enough rumble to where you know that you got that V8 goodness, but yet it's so smooth and it shifts, the nine speed in Sport Plus mode shifts with such authority. Those massive calipers shed speed so nicely, even with a vehicle that weighs as much as this one does, you're still gonna be able to have that performance and the luxury that you come to expect from this amazing brand known as Mercedes-Benz. All right guys, let's go on throttle from a dead stop. 
On throw, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. The performance on the brakes. This is what you're gonna get is just a complete package that if you want that top tier system of luxury in a sedan, this thing is unbelievable. Very balanced, nice feedback from the steering wheel. And of course you have that four Matic that's gonna keep you planted no matter if it's wet, no matter if it's dry, it's gonna give you great traction, especially as you can see off the All line. Right guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, throw, here we go. Nice. <laughs> wow, this is a German Euro Super Cruise Missile. It just shows all the work that Mercedes-Benz puts into their vehicles. Handling is spot on the money. And that, I'm telling you, the gearbox, the nine-speed automatic shifts so efficiently, so effectively, you really don't need the paddles. And it's a shame because I am gonna have to zonk these. They are plastic. They should be metal in this level of a vehicle, but Pulling up that infotainment system, very intuitive while you're driving. Not a problem getting to whatever you need. You got that awesome navigation set up. And here we are just cruising. Don't hear a thing. You could hear a pin drop in here. That's what you could hear. That's how quiet it is and how wonderful of an interior Mercedes-Benz does. Well, I'm hoping that this gave you a nice overall feel of what the all new Mercedes-Benz S580 is all about. We need to get back to Crown Euro cars and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a German muscle sedan second. Hi right, guys, it's been an adventurous time here at Crown Euro cars. I definitely got to thank Nicole, Neville, and the rest of the crew getting us this totally redesigned Mercedes-Benz S580. Let me know what you think. Did Mercedes-Benz do enough to put it at the top of the heap of luxury full-size sedans, and is it worth the price? I can't wait to read what you have to say in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, two ways to do it. Click the first link, get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Click that second link, become a Radies Rides Patreon member, Speaking of members, got to give it up to the greatest member of the Radies Rides family, Lori, working that camera like the champion that she is. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.